Today, we're going to be talking about five rejected Shark Tank companies that made millions. But before we get onto that, go ahead and like and subscribe if you have not done so already. Helps us out a lot. Also, make sure to stay until number one to see a rejected chef that now makes millions each year. May not be who you think. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. Number five, Kodiak Cakes. Kodiak Cakes is a flapjack and waffle mix. It's unique because it's made with 100% whole grains, has no added fats or sugars, and all you have to do- You can almost never go wrong with food brands. It tastes good, you can certainly sell it, but the sharks tend to be pretty picky. There are a lot of food brands on Shark Tank, but Kodiak Cakes has a unique story. This brand focused on whole grain and protein-rich pancake mixes. Their natural food approach was perfect for the era of health-conscious individuals. They went on the show seeking $500,000 for 10% of the company. The investors loved the taste of the pancakes, but just felt that the value of the company wasn't that high, so they rejected it. Now, Kodiak Cakes is one of the fastest growing pancake mix brands in the US. Plus, it is earning around $100 million in revenue. Sweet, sweet success. Great products, and we have a proven track record. Now who's ready to unleash your inner bear and start oh. with us? So we're going to give you guys a sample. All right. Number four, Hammer and Nails. Hammer and Nails. Sharks, there are millions of guys like me who go to nail salons for manicures and pedicures, but we do so reluctantly. Hammer and Nails had a great concept. This company was a nail salon that was male-oriented. Sounded like something that would be big, and founder Michael Elliott asked for $200,000 from the investors. Unfortunately, none of the investors agreed to the deal, and Elliott walked away empty-handed. Luckily, eight viewers that saw the episode had agreed to invest the $200,000 in the company, and that led to its current success. And these kind investors helped build something big. Today, Hammer & Nails has 183 franchise licenses and shops all over the U.S. For personal 32-inch flat-screen TVs, Hammer & Nails is man cave nirvana. Number 3. Ring Who's there? It's Jamie. Here to pitch? Who? It's Jamie. Sometimes you need to reject big to earn big. For Jamie Siminoff, he made this smart decision. His product was called DoorBot. This product is a home security system that can be controlled by your smartphone. It is an easy and safe way to secure your home. On the show, Siminoff asked for $700,000 in exchange for 10% of the company. An investor asked for more of the company, and that's when Siminoff turned him down. He left the show with no deal, but he still made it big. Richard Branson eventually invested in the company two years after the episode aired, and then Amazon bought it from Siminoff for a whopping $1 billion. The product is now called Ring, and Siminoff is now called Rich. I wanted to have you join me on this deal with DoorBot. I think we can get them to go all royalties and no equity. <laughs> Mark, we know that no real entrepreneurs go. Number two, Copa Divino. So people are buying your wine because it's easy to carry. Absolutely. And they're also getting, when they're drinking my product, they're also getting a... a Don't come and tell me this is premium wine. It's not. Oregon is famous for its craft beer. But what about some craft wine? That's what James Martin wondered when he created Copa Divino. This product was a portable wine that came in small and fancy glasses. It was innovative and fresh. On the show, Martin asked for $600,000 for 30% of the company. He got rejected, but still worked on the wine. He went on the show a second time, but was once again rejected. This is no problem though, because he eventually made it work. Copa Divino now earns more than $25 million in revenue and can be bought in 13,000 locations. This makes James Martin one of the most successful rejects in Shark Tank history. This is a proof of concept is what you're saying. They want to know it works because they, they've seen it fail so oh, many absolutely. times. Yeah. So this is their, his way of showing that it works. Listen, there's a belief. Pioneers get... Number one, Chef Big Shake. What's up, what's up, what's up, people? My name is Sean Davis, better known as Chef Big Shake. I'm the president of CVS Foods. I'm here today to ask for two- Sean Davis started out with a simple idea. His daughter said she was done eating meat, so he started making hamburgers out of shrimp. This led him to create Chef Big Shake. These shrimp patties were tasty and definitely going to be a hit. 
but not for the investors on Shark Tank. No, they had too many worries about the company's value. On the show, Davis asked for $200,000 for 25% of the company. They rejected this offer, but that didn't stop him though, and in his first year, his sales shot up to $5 million. His product is now available in 22,000 stores. You wish you'd gotten in. Oh yeah, yeah, there's this guy, um, Big Chef, right? And he had these shrimp sandwiches. And one of the things in business, you have to try to stick to what you know. And I don't know shrimp sandwiches from, you know, hot dog. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed. While you were here, go ahead and click the links above to check out some of our other awesome videos. Also, do not forget